it's a good day for some live music. Uh, so Melanie and I have uh, come up here to Nashville to this little uh, joint, Eastside Bowl. Uh, one of the bands I've mentioned a few times in some of the other videos that I've gotten really into in the last couple of years. They've been around for a while, but they're new to me. It's a band called The Dead South. Um, really cool quick story before I go in here and get ready for this gig, jump in line so I'm sure I'm right up front. Um, so they were kicking off their tour at the Ryman Auditorium here in Nashville. That show is actually tomorrow night. And basically it sold out very quickly due to bots and uh, um, what do you call them, uh, scalpers getting all the tickets. So they added a special show here at Eastside Bowl. Uh, obviously a much smaller venue, going to be a more intimate, intimate set and things of that nature. So um, $20 for those that were on the uh, Facebook page uh, for a limited number. So I'm excited as heck to get in here. <laughs> So you can see we're in. I'm right up front, but I had to step back here to do a quick video. So uh, let's see. They'll be on here in. Let's see. Well, the uh, opener is going to be on in about an hour. Uh, we're right up on the rail, so I'll get you some good video. This venue is amazing. Nice, small, uh, small place. I'm loving the place between the uh, between the uh, the bowling and the uh, the pinball. Uh, I'm telling you, man, this is a great freaking place. Eastside Bowl in Nashville. You got to check it out.
tenure of a big ass man. Black girl sings as a big ass wings. The boy of the night goes his in.
So we just walked out of the Dead South show here at the East Side Bowl in uh, Nashville. What's up? Hey Melanie's there, I here was too. Here. Well, she was here for some of it. No, she well, she got I was here. here for the whole show. Yeah, she was here for all of the uh, of the Dead South show. Listen, I am too old to stand there for four hours before a show. No, I'm not doing it. 
So she's too good for that is what she said. I'm not too good for that. I am too old. My legs are too old to stand there for four hours. And I... I'm, I'm actually older than her, and I do it. But regardless, we're gonna we're you're, just gonna stop. You've got to touch ah, the teasings. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, one hell of a show. Um, the opening the opening band was actually really good. Although to be honest with you, I don't remember the name. I'll put it down there. Corb. Uh, well, no, but or it was Corb. Like his first name. But there was a last name. Um, so I'll put it down there. I'm sorry, I said he was good, and then I don't even remember the damn name. But Regardless, Dead South kicked some serious freaking butt. Well, happy noontime from Nashville, Tennessee, guys. Um, we're getting up, just getting out. Uh, been up a little bit, uh, getting ready to go out. We are headed to find uh, some of Nashville's best lunch eateries. Of course, uh, we weren't sure where to go, so Melanie uh, queried her Dizarella travel agents as to the, uh, the, the best spots uh, to eat for lunch. And we have decided that we are headed where? Jack's Barbecue on Broadway. Keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> Jack's Barbecue on Broadway. Um, so we're going to get something to eat there, hang out a little bit, uh, see the sights. getting started here at Jack's and um, heading upstairs. You're, you're fine, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we decided to head upstairs. There is an indoor and outdoor portion uh, up here. Let me turn this around here. And so, so coming upstairs and as you can see, actually, let me turn this back around. You need to sign their patio out back. So let's go out and check out the patio area. Now, it does look like from the upstairs, I'm not doing a good job with this, am I? It does look like oh nice area out here yeah you can get you can get to this area from the third floor as well which is the indoor seating so it gives you an idea out here and then coming in to the upstairs in indoor portion So nice cool area in here, nice and quiet, and it's actually nice and quiet outside. All right, so Dizarello's going ahead and digging in here. Um, I did, I did a three meat platter, which let me get these out of the way. I got, of course, the brisket. Got the um, pulled pork and I got some ribs, my two sides that come with this. Um, I chose the mac and cheese, of course, the baked beans, and it apparently comes with some uh, cornbread. And Melanie got the Green chicken. beans, smoked chicken. Chicken plate. Um, it's not pulled chicken as she thought it would be, but it is, it is the chicken barbecue chicken plate. And what else? Green beans and coleslaw. Green beans and coleslaw, and again, the uh, included cornbread. This is the back patio area. One thing to keep in mind when you come in, when you come in downstairs and order your food, don't worry about having to get all your, uh, your fountain drinks and your sauces while downstairs. They actually do have stations uh, up here as well for you. So you don't have to worry about that. And I think we're gonna sit down and do a quick review of our food. All right, well, here we are with our review of Jack's Barbecue. Um, I think I'm gonna let Dizarella kick this one off. You had the chicken, you and you said the chicken I, was very good. And I tasted your pork, I thought it was good. Yeah, the pork, the pork was really good. You like the um, and I will say the way that I, the way that I kind of do with pork is that, uh, well, really, really with any barbecue is that I like to put sauce on my on my uh, my pork or excuse me on my 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 barbecue rub, whatever kind it is but i always like to taste it first and i like smoky 
and the pulled pork was very was not very smoky. I like it like it even more smoky, but it was smoky. It was it was good. I really like the pork. Um, and I didn't taste her chicken. I should have. It was good. But she again, she said it was very good. So, finish up on the rest of your meal. Um, yeah, so I think where we found the most misses was in the sides for us. Um, I chose the green beans and coleslaw. And so for me, the green beans were really salty. And I should have thought about that because they did have like the bacon in it, you know, the ham hock stuff. So that it makes it salty. Um, and then the coleslaw, I really like coleslaw, but I prefer mine with mayonnaise. And this was all vinegar based. Um, there was, I don't think there was any mayonnaise in it. Jumping over to, to mine, um, already commented on the pork. I really like the pork. I the brisket was dry. Maybe you just got like. May, yeah, pieces. maybe maybe well three pieces, but maybe it was it was a bad you know it was Batch. just a yeah you know it, they're they're not always going to be perfect. Um, I spoke to to a couple other folks in here that were locals, and they did say that the the, um, the brisket here is usually on point. Um, so, you know, maybe another, uh, tr uh, excuse me, maybe another time we're up here, we'll try them again and we'll see. But I was not, not a fan of the brisket. Um, the, what was my third meat was the, the ribs. The ribs were, 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 were pretty good. Um, so we kind of ran the gamut, um, you know, really good on the pork. The ribs were okay and not a fan of the brisket. The baked beans were good, but big thumbs down you know how we are about our mac with the mac and cheese you south. know i mean you know this is a you know this is a uh, what do you call it a, a barbecue joint a south a excuse me a southern barbecue joint um what, what other kind of barbecue joint is there um if it's legit but anyway um and to have what is basically velveta mac and cheese as their mac and cheese it's not a homemade um, had very little flavor yeah it, it just kind of that's a big miss and you know but what all oh, in all, oh. it was yeah, it was it was it was uh, it was good. Like I said, that pork is on point, uh, with say, or with or without um, um, uh, sauce, it's on point.
Well, happy Saturday from an overcast Nashville. Um, so we had a good night last night, a uh, long night. Uh, we were able to get tickets to see the Dead South at the Ryman, which I was not familiar with the history of the Ryman. And uh, it's a really, really beautiful old church. Um, I wish I had uh, taken the time to actually get some pictures and video of the church itself. Got a little bit of video of the guys uh, performing. Um, did get the opportunity to uh, to meet them. Sorry for the bumpy ride. Um, did get the opportunity to meet them again. I'd met them about a year and a few months ago. Um, and just got, got a couple pictures. I'll throw those in here. Um, we're heading up, well, actually heading right now to get some lunch. Uh, it took us about an hour to decide where to go. We had actually decided to go to, what was the place? Loveless. Loveless. Uh, cafe, but they found we found out that it is a lot further out than we expected from where we are going to be going, uh, about 40 minutes one direction out of the way. So we decided we're to find somewhere else. We are headed to Josephine, which is a brunch and dinner um, restaurant. So uh, had a pretty good looking um, menu, including what was the one? It was a donut, strawberry. No, strawberry um, filled donut with a peanut butter glaze. I'm going to be doing that. Um, so that's where we're headed, and then we're getting on the uh, on the interstate and headed up to uh, Louisville. So we're heading over here to Josephine for brunch slash lunch, and I don't really know what what this area is technically called. Um, Melanie said it's over near Belmont University, but it's a nice little area. We started off, didn't realize it was going to be this big, but and it's not a complaint. So this is the pretzel cinnamon roll with buttermilk cream cheese. Looks freaking phenomenal. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick recap of this now before I decide if we're actually going to finish it because I'm not going to admit to you whether or not we do. But this is so good I may have taken the Lord's name in vain twice within three seconds of trying it. I kid you not. This is so good. Um, it is on the salty side, a little too salty, but if you get enough of that cream cheese, it definitely cuts the salt, and of course, that's the idea. Um, I still wish it wasn't quite as salty, but damn, this is some good stuff. All right, one thing I forgot to mention. The peanut butter donut, well, it was the uh, strawberry filled peanut butter donut or, with peanut butter sauce glaze on it. 
is not on the menu any longer. They changed their menu, it seems like monthly. And he said they just stopped serving that one. They had a strawberry filled donut with elderflower buttercream or elderflower glaze, something like that. Check under that fact. Um, but this sounded really interesting. Oh, yeah. So we decided to go for it. 100% worth it. All right, so we got our mains right now, and um, so I went with the smoked prime rib. prime rib. I keep wanting to say pot roast. Um, that comes with a horseradish cheese sauce. This is a bit messy, so I don't think I'm even going to try to pick it up. It's just going to be done with a fork and knife, but it is what it is. Um, looks like kind of shoestring potatoes. I'm not a big fan of those, but you know, you. it is that. I'm looking forward to jumping in on that. And what did you get? I got the omelet with, um, and it has white cheddar. It's, a, it's called it a French rolled omelet with white cheddar and mushrooms and green peppers sauteed on top. Small salad and fries. All right, so a quick recap here of my sandwich um, or my meal all together. Um, it was it was pretty good. Um, it, it was not as mind blowing as the um, cinnamon roll. The issue, and Melanie and I have talked about it before, and just everything to us is so salty. Um, again, we're not big on we're not big on salt for a lot of reasons, and I think because of health reasons, uh, we cut it back a whole lot. And now when we eat out, it's just everything's just so covered in salt. Um, so that was a deterrent for me. Um, but I mean, it, it was a good sandwich, but again, just seemed way over salted. And Melanie, what was your thoughts? What so are your you thoughts? see, I ate most of my omelet, um, so I would agree with you. I know people say we are too darn picky, and maybe everybody, I don't know, it's just, uh, we both agree, very salty. Um, now, the cinnamon roll that we had was salty, but that was kind of like the thing. It's like right. a pretzel cinnamon roll. It's a sweet and salty combo. Worked really well, but it wasn't like overly salty, I don't guess. I mean, it was what you expect with the pretzel. So, even my lettuce, the dressing that they put on there has a ton of salt. Brett tried it too and like agreed. I don't, I don't know like why my small little side salad had to have salt on it, but it does. Can't, I can't even do the fries because it's just too much salt at this point. <laughs> Um, Again, not not wanting to be negative. I know we always come up. It's not bad. Right. Yeah, like I just think good. for us, it would be better with 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 much less salt. Now you, like, I can feel how much salt I had in the last two days. I mean, it's like making my body hurt. <laughs> so much salt. Um, I've got to up my water intake essentially. So yeah, I mean, it's good. Like I said, and I think some of it. I had a quesadilla late last night at some concert. It was one of the best quesadillas I've ever had, but again, I think it was really, really salty. And I'm just like kind of on salt overload at this point. So yeah, I still, I still like the place. I really like the place, everything about it. Uh, the food is good. Again, it's just for us, the salt. And again, not to harp on it, we just don't want to keep coming off as negative and overly picky. But um, you know, that, that is an issue when you start trying to cut salt uh, out of your diet that you, when you're eating out is difficult yeah. so but I would like I would totally want to come back and try other yeah absolutely. other items that they have on the menu as well because it was hard to choose so definitely put this on your list of uh, places to come when you're in Nashville and next time we're up here we will do the same give some other things a try all right guys I don't know if you can hear me it's a bit loud in here but uh, just real quickly forgot to uh, do a setup before coming in here I'm here at the old Forester um, I don't even know what it's called now, but the uh, um, concert venue here in, where am I? Kentucky, Louisville. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
expected round three with uh, the dead south it's phenomenal they did add their cover of the misfits uh, saturday night because it was saturday night they tend to do that on saturday night so uh, it was pretty cool we got to hang out and uh, have some good conversation with the band got autographs got some pictures and everything so it was a great trip all in all seeing all three of these shows that was just over the what he said over the bridge uh, there in Louisville. We are actually in Jeffersonville. Is that the name of it? At a place we're gonna get some quick brunch. Geraldine's Kitchen. Um, Jeffersonville seems to be kind of a, a little bit of a sleepy town and I don't mean that in the negative. Quaint. Quaint but I'm you know I don't mean that in the negative. It's nice uh, old oh you know reminds me a lot of the towns that I used to visit a lot in uh, lower Alabama where my my parents grew up. Kinston in that area um, a little more grown up uh, or you know whatnot than, than that but anyway nice uh, nice little area check out Geraldine's here uh, for some brunch and then hit the road no problem <laughs> All right, so we got our breakfast here. It was basically breakfast for lunch. Go ahead and call it what it is, brunch, uh, here at Geraldine's. Um, so I went, I actually don't remember the name of the platter. What Big was Daddy. it? Big Daddy. Big Daddy platter. So I got three meats. Am I missing a meat? I see two. Sausage, bacon, and where's the ham? I don't know. I guess I'm missing the ham, so I'll have to ask about that. And uh, some scrambled eggs. Um, some hash browns and a fried egg on for a good measure. And Melanie went with her half omelet. Half an omelet. I did a build your own with ham, 
spinach and peppers. All right. And the two pieces of French toast. Yes. You're welcome. It sounded good. It has vanilla in it. So okay. you're so Which a true French toast should have. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway, as you can see, uh, I mean, it's it is what I'm going to say. No frills. I'm going to say Southern country style breakfast, which is the best there is. You can add all the fruit fruit stuff, like like you know we enjoy that too, like the the, the cinnamon uh, roll that we had yesterday that was all done up with the pretzel and, and all the other uh, stuff to it. But this is the best, so we'll let you know how it is. And of course, like we've uh, discussed before, I had to do the mustard on the uh, on the eggs. So I just have to uh, comment as a as a southerner. Born and raised, um, I got to give them props on this uh, on this biscuit. Nice, buttery, um, grilled perfectly. That is so darn good. You can see that butter in there. Let me get this sausage out of the way. But that is absolutely that is the southern way of doing biscuits, which is the right way, the only way. So I thought I was done raving about this biscuit. And I'm going to use the word that some people, for whatever reason, have an issue with. Moist. This is perfectly moist. Um, it's not just because of the, uh, the butter on it. That helps. But let me tell you something. This is a perfectly moist buttermilk biscuit here. Okay, yes, I know I'm a pig. I ordered a bowl of their grits only for you guys because I know there's a lot of you folks that may not know what grits are. Is it grits are or grits is? Because <laughs> grits is grits is actually singular in the in the way that it's it's not so grits is. It would be grits is, isn't it? I don't know. Or is it plural because a grit is each little thing and grits is No, no it's not. No, it wouldn't be. It's I don't know. Grits is singular in this point. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. Somebody that knows better than us, put it down in the comments. Because I don't eat grits. I'm a southerner who doesn't eat grits. You ain't southern. You ain't southern. So, I had to try these out. Um, I haven't dove into them yet, but I'm about to. But I had, I, I just had to go ahead and order some grits. And uh, put in the comments if you guys, you know, whether or not you even know what they are. But I love me some grits. True southerners do. So, you know, we've commented many, many, many times about, you know, our how picky we are with our food and uh, you know our typical thing is yeah it was good it was good this two thumbs up two thumbs up two thumbs way up in fact I, if I wasn't holding the phone I'd show you four thumbs up so I do a lot of talking so I'm gonna let uh, Melanie start this one off so everything we had was delicious cooked perfectly seasoned yeah. perfectly not too salty at Amen. all. Like it was, there was fresh cracked pepper on the hash browns, which were not really fried, or they were just like little diced potatoes cooked. They weren't fried. Well, you're basic, you're, you're down home hash potatoes. Not, it was good. I mean, I mean hash everything browns. was good. Quality ingredients and just cooked perfectly. Yep. I mean, tasted delicious. Yep. And so as much as we love a good high-end trendy restaurant, um, and Josephine's was good yesterday, but this was better, yeah. you know? I mean, um, and we don't love all hometown cooking places, because... You know, a lot of them, a lot of them use too, too, too much salt. Um, and, sure. and I think to me, if you're using too much salt, I think you're, you're, you're trying to cover something up. They didn't. Um, or just flavor with salt instead of other seasonings as yeah. well. I mean, letting other good quality ingredients in there. But, I don't know. It was good. Two thumbs up. Yep. Um, so, definitely, if you're ever in Jefferson, Quinnville, or Louisville, or Louisville, Louisville, come on over. It was about a 30, 45 minute wait for us to yep. get in. Totally worth um, it. But totally worth it. Yeah. It's, it's unassuming. Um, a cute little place, though. And, uh, yeah. And actually, totally I got to say, I got to say, it was, it was kind of neat. So, uh, my um, my grandmother, on my father's side, actually, what what I, I, we all referred to as uh, Mama, um, 
her name's kind of a, a d different name, um, and uh, it was Janae. Um, I've never heard anybody else with that name. And we were sitting there, and the server that was serving another table happened to, they asked her name, and, and she said her name. It was Janae, and Melanie and my head both popped up, and wait a minute. And it was it was also spelled uh, in the same way. It's French. And yeah. I with an accent and everything and yeah so so it was really neat we spoke to her and she said that, that she'd never met uh anybody that that you know anybody else with that with her name and spelled that way so it was really it was really neat and one last thing i'll comment on in regards to the food and just in general and this may sound cheesy but i i you know it's it's kind of what i came up with in there uh thinking about it when it comes to these places like we went yesterday that uh Good food. I mean, that 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 cinnamon uh, roll was amazing. Had really really good food. Um, but you can take any ingredient. Uh, excuse me, any uh, recipe, and mix up some ingredients and try to do something a little different and add extra stuff uh, to that. Or you can just use that that uh, recipe and add in a little love. And I think that's what they do here. And I know that sounds cheesy, but uh, really 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 for half the price of what we had yesterday, had better food and more of it. So, and one last thing, comment below if you enjoyed seeing us doing this little weekend trip and if you'd like to see more of that. We're definitely still gonna be doing the cruise vlogs. We've got some Disney content coming very soon. But uh, yeah, comment below if you enjoyed uh, seeing us just kind of traveling around to these small towns. We're probably gonna do some of that, but maybe let us know if you'd like that um and yeah and don't forget to like and subscribe and lastly also if you enjoy the music content because that's my big thing i like i like traveling and uh, seeing live bands and um you know hoping to do a few more of these weekend trips uh, around seeing some bands and uh checking out the uh the towns that they're in so let us know what you think keep liking subscribing sharing us we appreciate it guys take care